Hey there friends, it's Nick and this is technique number 11 which is the point of no return. Okay, the point of no return is a classic part of story structure and it's very often the moment in the story where the, the lead character, the hero, male or female, or toy or animal or whatever, the hero makes a decision that metaphorically takes them out of their world and into a new one. And it's more than that. It is the point of no return. It is the point where whatever happens in the rest of the story, they can't go back. You know, and sometimes that's a physical thing. They can't go back. Um, sometimes it's metaphorical. The point where in the Fellowship of the Ring, Frodo volunteers and agrees to take the ring to Mordor is metaphorically a point of no return because he can't go back to his, his old life. And even at the end of the third film, at the end of Return of the King, they do go back to the Shire. They, they physically go back. But he says to Sam, the Shire is saved, but not for me. And that is a, a, an explicit um, acknowledgement of the fact that he passed a point of no return. Can't go back. In The Matrix, Neo takes the red pill is it the red pill? I think it's the red pill. He takes the red pill and he wakes up in the real world, the real world. Welcome to the real world, Morpheus says. And he can't go back. And he's told them I mean, that they make that so explicit in the film. Um, and usually it's not that explicit. In my shipwreck story, for example, um, it's not about me doing something uh, heroic or making decisions. It's about hitting the reef. You can't unhit a reef. <laughs> you know, the bottom of the boat already had a hole in it there's no way of going back to the to the you know the comfortable world of, of two minutes before so i think in business not every story has this and you know like all of these techniques we're not trying it's not a checklist we're not saying you have to create this frankenstein's monster of a story but if you can find particularly if it's an insight story um if you can find the point of no return the point where for you the world changed um, when you realise this thing or when you created this this product or you understood, you know, the fundamental nature of reality and, you know, and the world moved for you. If you can find that, it can really help um, bring your story, that narrative drive. You know, after this, the world was not the same. And if you can get your your prospects or your followers, whether you're building a personal brand or it's a product or service or it's an origin story, or whatever, if you can get this point of no return into your story, it will really sort of help drive it home. Because at that point, you're, the world has changed, but it's not fixed very often, right? So you've had an insight or, you know, you've woken up outside the matrix or you've got a journey to go to Mordor. So you can't go back but you still have to go forward. So these points of no return, they often give us a lot of narrative drive. And in my origin story, for example, we were two weeks away from shutting, shutting up shop. Now, we never reached it, but that was explicitly put in there because it was a point of no return. If we get to the end of this month and we've got no clients, no more work coming in, then it's over. Do you see? It makes a big difference to the drive of the story. Anyway, that's technique number 11. If you're lucky enough to be able to use that in your stories, do it.